He told Shekinah that she has to weigh a certain weight. What? Shekinah? Shekinah. He told Shekinah that she has to change her makeup. He told Shekinah that she has to change oh her hair color. He is controlled. Yep, 90 Day have decided to gift us another freaking couple. I mean, I feel like we have enough couples to follow anyway, but hey, we've got Shekinah right now. And uh, Shekinah right now. And, uh, well, we haven't necessarily met her other half at this moment in time, but he's a man from Turkey. But uh, as you heard right there, he's already trying to change everything about it. He wants her to control her weight, change, obviously, her makeup. Like, honestly, this guy already sounds like one head of a headache. On top of that, well, just like... She's quite plastic, to be fair, if I do so say, in the most polite way possible. He's also quite plastic too, but this guy's whole face looks like he literally went on an episode of Botched and they still couldn't help him out. <laughs> that was mean, wasn't it? Oh, well, but with that being said, though, why would you want to be with someone that is already telling you how you should be living your life? You know, if he wants you and he loves you, he should just take you as you are, right? Now, of course, don't get me wrong. If you've got your own expectations of certain things you really, really want to improve, 100% that person's allowed an opinion, they're allowed to help you. But if you have no issues with certain things and someone's coming in your life and they're already telling you that you've got to change this, you've got to change that, whoa, pause, stop the brakes. That means that person's already toxic as hell and that means you've got to run anyway. You see what I'm saying? And in reality, why would he or why should anyone go for someone that they know that they want to change? That doesn't make any sense. You see what I'm saying? I would never go for someone that I want to change. Like the logic in it just makes no, no sense whatsoever. But this is the problem with society. Everyone trying to control every single narrative of everything. Yeah. But with that being said, though, let's get into it. I really still do love you. And I just think that we should be together. Now, let's just pause it right here. This guy is not the guy that she's with currently. If you didn't watch the episode of Night If You Don't Say The Other Way, this is not the guy that she's currently flying all the way to Turkey to be with. This is a guy that she knows that she's friends with and well he doesn't want her to go to turkey and he doesn't want her to keep going for these same guys who keep breaking her heart and wasting her own time because she has a pattern of going for the same guys and that's something that she's acknowledged but she hasn't put into play yeah makes sense out of that right but either way though this is someone that's been friends with for a long time who believes that she'd be better off if she gave him a chance well the funny thing is they have tried dating in the past and it, did, did, it just didn't work for her she said it was weird to me i, I just mm. The reality is that, I'm going to keep it 100, he just doesn't look like the type of guy that she wants to be with. He may have all the emotions, he may be someone that can probably make her happy emotionally with all that kind of stuff, but some people in this world, they would rather just be happy with the fact that they're with someone that looks good, rather than someone that makes them feel good. You dig what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people in this world, they just want to be that uh, poster couple, you know? You know what I mean? That, 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 that couple, when everyone looks at them, they're like, oh my God. Them two look so amazing. Them two are so picturesque. Oh, they look like they really have a good time. But in reality, it's never the case. All of them are probably insecure, trying to control each other, all that kind of ugly nonsense, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, though, my man tried to shoot his shots. And you know what? Credit, credit, credit to him, man. He tried. He shot him down, but he tried. You know what I mean? But the thing that really concerned me the most about this guy is the fact that my man then came up by saying, well, if it doesn't work with this guy, I'll always be here for you. Why would you want to be her second? Why would you wait for her to get to a point where she finally realized that she wants to be with you? Understand this, silly man. If she ever got to the point where she wanted to be with you, this would be like Forrest Gump. You know how obviously, oh, I forgot the name of the girl in Forrest Gump, but you know how she finally decided to be with Forrest Gump, but we all knew the only reason why she decided to be with him is because she had pretty much just wasted her whole life doing a whole lot of madness and she just wanted someone to have kids with and have a family with and just to look after her because she had nothing else going for herself anymore because she'd been running around looking like a head's chicken. This is, this is that situation, bro. If she ends up wanting to be with you, it's not because she wants to be with you, it's because she's given up on the dating world and she's like, I'm always just have this guy. I mean, if I want a family this stage, I want to get married, I might as well just be with you. And I, know, and I know you're going to look after me, so I might as well just be with you. And the saddest thing about it is that there's a chance that she may even be unloyal to you behind your back. She knows that you're a freaking simp. Huh. But hey, man, sometimes in life you got to try, and if you don't know, then you don't know. But uh, I wouldn't put myself in this position. I can say this right now. Yes, but we continue. Aww. I definitely worry that I'm making another mistake, just like all the other ones that I have with all the wrong guys I've chosen. But I'm trying to look on the positive side of this and believe how, how can you live on the positive side of repetition? <laughs> Come on, man. Don't be saying the none of this nonsense to me. I believe that Sarp is different and that this is going to be the relationship that works out for me. Keep things undergoing in the way that you thought. 
You know, I stay here. Waste man. Oh, waste man. With that being said, you guys let me know what you're thinking down below in the comment section. But as far as I'm concerned, this guy's an like absolute clown um, because he actually was willing to wait for someone that doesn't actually want to be with him. Make that make sense. Why don't you take your heart and your emotions and find someone that's actually going to appreciate your heart and your emotions rather than somebody that's going to potentially choose to be with you due to the fact that she's given up on everyone else. That's never a good thing. Do you know how many people in this world that end up in a relationship because they're just settling? They say that the older you get, you end up just settling for anyone. They say that men usually end up settling for someone who's just going to bring them peace and food and sex. And I guess women end up settling for someone that maybe is just going to give them a baby and a family and look after them. I don't know. And, and I, know, I, know, I know it's true for men. But women, I, don't, I haven't got a clue because I'm not a woman. Do you know what I mean? But generally, given our standards, our standards end up dropping and we end up settling ourselves. Because we miss out on opportunities in life that we could have been with someone that was actually good for us. For whatever purpose, we missed that one. That's sinking. But nonetheless, thank you so much for your time. Peace.